Let's check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. A reminder, Chorus Angelicus will be in concert on Sunday at 4 o'clock at Salisbury Congregational Church, conducted by Artistic Director Gabriel LaFau. The event features stories, poems, and readings, topped off with traditional carols, which the audience can join in with. This year's narrator is John Dankowski, making his debut, joining the artistic team. Organist Vaughn Morin will accompany. Tickets, which often sell out, can be secured at chorusangelicus.com. The current art exhibit at the Cornwall Library, a mix of oil and water featuring a group of nine painters. The artists all live in Litchfield County. Sandy Delinsky lives in Cornwall. The works, which are in both oil and watercolors, many of them landscapes, will be exhibited throughout the month of December and are available for purchase. Operation Fuel is now accepting applications for energy assistance, fuel and electric heating. Beginning December 2nd through March 2nd, 2020, gas or oil must be at one quarter full. Applicants are eligible every 12 months. It's income-based. Contact Miriam for qualifications and to apply at 860-364-1003. The Great Barrington Police Department has implemented an all-night parking ban, which is in effect now until March 31st. Any vehicles parked on town or city streets between 1 and 6 a.m. will be ticketed. In case of snowfall, vehicles may be towed at the owner's expense. The Board of Selectmen in Sharon have a regular meeting scheduled at 2 o'clock. In Cornwall... 5 o'clock, West Cornwall Wastewater Commission at Town Hall. 7 o'clock, Planning and Zoning Commission at Cornwall Library. 7.30, Housatonic River Commission at Cornwall Consolidated School. The Sharon Board of Finance has their regular meeting at 7 p.m. at Town Hall. Canaan Falls Village Recreation Commission meets at 7 o'clock. In Pine Plains, the Pine Plains Garden Club is conducting a Christmas workshop Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the First United Presbyterian Church. Guests are welcome to the event where winter sprays will be assembled. The church is located at 3039 Church Street, Route 199. A reminder that there's a community Christmas dinner coming up on Wednesday, December 11th. North Canaan Catholic Church is sponsoring a community Christmas dinner from 4 until 6 p.m. Residents of towns are welcome. Any question, contact Miriam Jones, social service agent, at 860-364-1003. The Town of Sharon Planning and Zoning Commission has their next meeting coming up on Wednesday, December the 11th. That is at Town Hall at 530. The Town of Sheffield Planning Board meeting on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. First floor meeting room at Sheffield Town Hall. The Board of Finance in North Canaan meets Wednesday at 7.30 at North Canaan Town Hall. An evening for Swasa, the 5th Annual Chicken Pot Pie Dinner, sponsored by the White Hart Inn in Salisbury, will be held Thursday at the Inn's Hunt Room. Cost of the dinner, which includes pot pie with mashed potatoes, dessert, and beverage, $30 per person, alcohol not included. The evening will include a performance by the Housatonics. Dinner begins at 6. Because seating is limited, reservations are required. For reservations or to see if there's still space, contact the White Hart at 860-435-0030. Proceeds from the dinner will benefit the Salisbury Winter Sports Association Youth Skiing Programs. Northwest Connecticut Arts Council partnering with American Mural Project for the next Arts Night Out. The popular creative networking event, Arts Night Out, will serve as an art supply drive, which supplies will be directly donated to Litchfield ARC and the Winstill Area Child Care Centers programs. The event will be held at the American Mural Project on Whiting Street in Winston on Thursday at 6 p.m. The Town of Northeast New York Town Board will meet on Thursday. That will be at 7 p.m. at Town Hall. The Town of Sharon will have a special town meeting on Friday the 13th at 6.30 p.m. In Kent, there will be a public informational hearing on the new cell tower set for 7 p.m. at Town Hall on Friday the 13th. On Saturday the 14th, St. Patrick's Church, Albany Road, West Stockbridge, holding their 22nd annual cookie walk from 9 to 11. Christ Trinity Church on Main Street in Sheffield, holding their annual bake sale and bazaar on the 14th from 10 until 2. Also in Kent, reading at the library to focus on the first Christmas tree in the U.S. Children of all ages invited to that reading and reception on Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Kent Memorial Library, 32 North Main Street. A holiday shop, sip and stroll being held Saturday the 14th, 3 till 8.30 in downtown Great Barrington. 
In Amenia, the public invited to Amenia Town Hall on Saturday for some holiday fun. The Historical Society presenting an antique toy open house from 4 till 6. The tree lighting will be held at 5, followed by a holiday concert in the auditorium and the announcement of Amenia's Citizen of the Year. Musical entertainment will be provided by the Dover High School Band and Singers. In Sharon, the second annual concert will be held on Saturday, December 14th at 6.30 at the Bach Gallery at the Sharon Playhouse. You can join family and friends. They celebrate the season with songs and surprises. The family concert returns for its second year featuring local singers plus a chorus of children singing your favorite holiday songs and a visit from Santa Claus as well. And there'll be refreshments and photos afterwards. Seating is limited. Tickets at SharonPlayhouse.org or 860-364-7469, extension 100. Roloff Jansen Library in Hillsdale is hosting a visit with Santa on Sunday from 1 till 3. Each child will receive a free book from the jolly old St. Nick. There will be carolers, cookies, and hot chocolate while you get into the holiday spirit. On Saturday from 5.30 till 8 p.m., there will be an opening reception, the Book of Hours on Earth's Expected Emotions through the Photographic Process, Jesse English's upcoming exhibition at Standard Space, will be held in Sharon. The 17 pieces in the show are just a fraction of the 40 rolls of film she's taken so far as part of a larger and ongoing project. An open mic jingle jam being held, Cowboy and Mike Milton and Friends, at the VFW in Dover Plains, New York, on December 14th from 7 till 10 p.m. You can join Sharon Audubon and fellow bird lovers for a wonderful and impactful birding tradition. Each year for the last 120 years, small groups of birders have ventured out for the sole purpose of counting birds. Sharon Audubon Center's free CBC event, known as the Trixie Strauss Christmas Bird Count, takes place on Sunday. It's a 24-hour count period from 12.01 a.m. to midnight, with most of the birding taking place from sunrise to sunset. The count area is a 15-mile circle with the center at the Hotchkiss School in Lakeville, Connecticut. Forms for the bird feeder count can be picked up at the Sharon Audubon Center. More information about the Trixie Strauss Christmas bird count or questions, you can find out at 860-364-0520, SharonAudubon.org. The Amenia Fire Company is sponsoring its monthly all-can-eat breakfast on Sunday from 7.30 to 11 at the Firehouse. Adults, $8. Children and seniors, $7. Immaculate Conception, St. Anthony's Parish, for Laval Road in Amenia, New York, has a living nativity coming up. It's having its living nativity following the 10.45 a.m. Mass on Sunday. There will be animals, light refreshments, a bake sale, and cash and carry table. Several calf vendors as well as beautiful baskets will be raffled off. Now, Santa Claus will be at the role of Jansen Community Library on Sunday from 1 till 3. All ages are welcome. The First Presbyterian Church of Pine Plains hosting its fourth annual holiday concert on Sunday at 4 p.m., celebrating the 300th anniversary of the writing of Joy to the World by Isaac Watts. The concert will feature local musicians, including students from Stissing Mountain Junior Senior High School and area residents Jim Petrie, Dorothy Whitaker, Gerald LaSella, and Ryan Orton, organist. More information at 518-398-7117. The church is located at 3039 Church Street, Route 199. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 105.46 to 27,909.60 yesterday. NASDAQ starts off today at 8621.83 and the S&P 500 at 3135.96. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast that will come your way in just a few moments.